not interested in depicting reality, I'm interested in visualizing a mood. For this exhibition, when I was looking for source material, I started to go through my own personal archive of, of images. And I realized that I have so many images that it was evident that when I took them, I was thinking of them already as paintings. So the way that they were framed, the compositions, they already looked like something that I could paint. All the paintings are based on photographs that I have taken of places or situations that hold a specific meaning for me, whether it be you know, my childhood home or my longtime studio in New York. The images are always just a starting point. It, it's a reason for me to make a painting. And then in the process of making the painting, it becomes about something else. It becomes about the experience of making the painting. It becomes about the colors, the shapes, the textures, the materials. You hope that you make something that will give people an opportunity to have an experience. This painting is a, it's a combination of two images that I've taken of places that are very special to me. The one image is from a museum outside of Copenhagen where my grandparents used to live. The second place is uh, from the beach of my dad's cabin where I've been going for the past 30 years on vacations. I combined them in a way of creating a situation or a, a dream scenario it becomes this idea of an ideal place to live. The way that I make the paintings is that I sometimes start with a preliminary uh, drawing or a, a a study, a sketch. So I will resolve some of the issues that might arise in, in the making of the painting. I paint on unprimed canvas because for me the support is important in terms of incorporating it in the image rather than just using it as a, as a background or as a, uh, something that holds the paint. So I let the paint seep into the fibers of the canvas and the first couple of layers almost disappears in, in the fiber so it's a way of almost staining uh, the canvas and then I slowly build up layers by layer by layer I build up the paint so I have these places where the canvas is still visible and it becomes these open parts in, in the painting that are very important to me first of all it it gives you a difference in, in texture. You see that it's built up some places and thicker and thinner, but it's also about how the canvas is, as I said, a part of the painting rather than just a support for the painting. A painting is very much a recording of time. And this shows you everything that has happened in the process of making the painting. <laughs>